everyone welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have a self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to address a question that comes up every now and then, and that is, do I need to heal from all my wounds and all my past traumas in order to manifest my desires? So this was something that I've been wanting to address because it does come up in my client sessions. It does come up in comments every now and then. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I know a lot of people manifesting their desires develop this concept that they need to heal fully and completely in order to manifest their desires or the narrative might go in order for them to feel worthy of their desires. It's almost as if they have to prove to someone, to the universe, their higher self, or whoever or whatever it might be, that they are worthy of their desires, that they have worked, they have done the inner work, and so now their reward is getting their desire. So I'm here to tell you guys that luckily this isn't how manifestation works. And I'm not saying that to say that I'm against self-improvement. Actually, no, I'm very much for self-improvement. I'm actually for healing any wounds that you might feel interfere with your life and with your ability to enjoy your life and to be the best version of yourself. I am for creating better mental and emotional health for yourself, whether that is through therapy or through other methods. But manifesting does not actually rely on healing. It relies on consciousness. What you manifest and the experiences that you manifest in your life depend on where your consciousness is and where your consciousness is focused at. The mistake I feel a lot of people make when they adopt that concept of, I need to go into a cycle of continuous healing, sometimes even for years, you guys, in order to get my desires and in order to be able to manifest my desires, is that they see their healing as a condition for them to get their manifestation or as a condition, as I said before, for them to be rewarded with a manifestation as a result of the inner work that they have done. While this isn't necessarily untrue, at least not 100%, what you neglect to understand and realize is that you are continuously dealing with the expansion of your own consciousness. So from that point of view, there isn't even anything to be fixed because it's not a matter of fixing things. It's a matter of expanding your consciousness. So when you feel like you are dwelling in a past wound, in a past trauma, you are triggered and all that, you're in a certain state. You're in a certain state of consciousness. Once you get through that and you overcome that and you shift your focus and your attention on what you actually want or who you actually want to be, now you're in a very different state of consciousness. Now you have expanded your consciousness to becoming a different person and to manifesting a different person and a different version of yourself and a different version of your reality. All states of consciousness exist. All realities exist, so there does exist that version of you who is traumatized and wounded and who feels powerless and helpless, at the same time as there is also that version of you who knows their inner power, who trusts in their inner power, who knows they have the inner power to manifest their life and shape their life. And so it's not a matter of fixing the previous state, it's rather a matter of moving to another state and leaving that other state aside. At the end of the day, there isn't anything that needs to be fixed. All states exist and all states must exist. They must continue to exist. As a conscious manifestor, your job is to select your states that align with what your desires are, what your desired experiences are in the 3D. And as Neville would say, occupy those states. And when we say states, we're talking about mental and emotional states. Who would you be if your desire to be who you want to be or to have what you want to have was true right now in the 3D. If you go and occupy that state, you have automatically expanded your consciousness to this new state. The other state, the traumatized state, the state that needs healing, the, the state that feels powerless and helpless, still exists. 
It will continue to exist, it must continue to exist. However, it is also transcended in favor of the new state that you have now selected and you are now occupying. So I want you guys to understand and realize that it's not a matter of fixing yourself, fixing your wounds, healing who you were before. It's rather a matter of occupying a different state by expanding your consciousness to that new state. And so if you see things from that perspective and from that point of view, you realize that ultimately there isn't any healing to be done because that healing belongs to that state. But if you're now in this state, do you even need the healing? No, in this state, you are the person who is powerful. You are the person who is embracing their inner power. You are the person who is confident. You are the person who knows that you can have your desire and whatever you want. So in this new state, you are powerful. You don't need to heal your powerlessness because your powerlessness does not exist in this state. It's been left behind in that other state. You don't need to fix your lack of confidence because your lack of confidence belongs in this state, but now you're in this state. So there is no lack of confidence anymore and so on and so forth with any and all other traits. So those of you who are in a continuous cycle, sometimes for years of trying to heal yourself, heal your wounds in order to manifest your desires or who see this as a condition to manifest your desires, start looking at it from the perspective of I'm actually expanding my consciousness and I'm going to expand my consciousness into the version of me who is who I want to be. The old conditions, the old traits still exist, but they belong in that other state. So once you occupy that new state, by default, you are going to get the experience that you're manifesting that aligns with that new state that you have now occupied, provided that this state now becomes sustained and predominant. So yes, if you do want to pursue self-improvement, do that. Yes, if you feel like it would be good and beneficial for you to heal childhood wounds or other wounds from your life, yes, do that. If you feel that is going to make you into a better version of yourself, but at the end of the day, realize that what you're doing is you're expanding your consciousness. You're expanding your consciousness from going from this state to that state. You might use the means of therapy. You might use the means of some other modality. You might use the means of um, reading or meditating or doing yoga or doing whatever. This is still a means to help you occupy this new state and go from this state to that state. So you're still not technically fixing anything. You're just moving from one state to another by expanding your consciousness to occupy a different mental and emotional state. And so if you're still wondering if you need to heal fully and completely in order to get your manifestations, the answer is no, because by choosing to move to a new state, to move your consciousness to a new state, the old state has already been healed. So I hope this is a helpful perspective for you guys, especially those of you who have been in a cycle of inner work and inner healing for a long time and who are used to seeing this as a condition to manifest your desires, start getting out of that mindset. At the end of the day, there's nothing to be fixed. There's nothing to be healed. There is only expansion of consciousness. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.